Just how good is Callum Hudson at Doyle? Well, let's talk about it. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well and welcome to today's video, which is on Chelsea Academy starlet, young Callum hudson Adoy, the bright star that burst out of Chelsea's academy and Bayern Munich wanted to claw away from English football and maybe, at the time, even break their transfer record. They did tempt the young Englishman away from the club and apparently he handed in a transfer request when he did not trust the club, the board, the structure to give him his chance. Things change at Chelsea Football Club. Step forward Frank Lampard who believes in the academy and the youth and suddenly all the youngsters at Chelsea are signing up new contracts including Callum Hudson-Odoi who has recently penned a new five-year deal committing his long-term future to the Blues. But actually how good is Callum Hudson-Odoi? How well has he performed? Why is he so highly rated? Well we're going to talk about all of that today. Before we do get into the content I want to remind you guys to subscribe to this channel please hit that bell notifications icon and I ask you this because I upload every single day and I want you lot to keep up with the content and if you want to support your boy you can also like this video right so Callum's been doing bits ever since he was young at Chelsea very very young and there's footage of him like dribbling past entire teams putting people on the floor putting it in the top corner essentially being a little magician all throughout the youth level but people wondered or people would be right to speculate whether he can do this in first team football at the highest level. Well the Germans certainly thought so and that's why their scouts over in England have been watching him for some time and really wanted to break the bank to bring him over to Bayern Munich. Callum hudson Adoy wants to play first team football and obviously he saw what was going on with his mate Jaden Sancho over at Dortmund and he got tempted because he could be a star and he believes in himself but he does love Chelsea. Every time he scores for Chelsea he celebrates like an elated kid on cloud nine. He loves his teammates and he does love the club but obviously his ambition was to play and be the best as soon as possible because th think about it right superstars now are getting younger and younger look at Kylian Mbappe etc so you've got to believe in yourself and if you think you're good enough you've got to be playing and it does look like he will be playing and be a big part of the team as Frank Lampard has asserted his ambition to make Callum hudson Odoi an integral figure in his plans in a moment I'm going to pull up some statistics to demonstrate how good he really is but really the type of player that Callum hudson Odoi is is exactly what Chelsea needs. He's a talented, exciting, playmaking, lethal, attacking, wide forward, inverted forward, winger, that kind of player. And really, Chelsea did invest a lot of money in Christian Pulisic as a really young, talented winger as well, not necessarily to replace Eden Hazard, but to fill a certain void for the moment. But the truth is, in terms of exciting talent and effectiveness, look no further than Callum hudson Adoy for an Eden Hazard replacement. Plus, there's the certain romance of everything, how he came through the Academy and he's a Chelsea made young man. Okay, so the best and biggest sample size to give you guys of Callum hudson Adoy is his performance in the Europa League, which is a pretty high level. It's the European stage. Teams that play in the Europa League have fought very hard to get there. It's very physical and you get a lot of good teams in there. So for a kid, a teenager, remember Callum hudson Adoy was only 17 years old when he broke through onto the scene playing in the Europa League. It's a difficult platform to perform on. Anyway, so let's up the statistics page and I want to show you guys some numbers. Right, so hudson Adoy broke through into the Chelsea team in the Europa League. As I said, it's a difficult platform, but playing under Maurizio Sarri, which is even more testament to how good Callum is, because that's not an easy thing to do under that coach to break through as a youngster. Sadly, he got his Achilles injury, which cut his season short, but in the time he was playing for Chelsea, he made five appearances in the Europa League with only four starts. But trust me, they were some good performances. In those four starts, he scored four goals and got two assists, which is incredibly impressive, right? And if you do the calculations, these six goal involvements work out to a contribution every 69 minutes. Woo! Callum in these games was taking 1.6 shots per game, which I actually see as the sweet spot, not popping off random shots all the time, trying to be creative and progressing the ball, but also having a crack. And if he's taking 1.6 shots per game and got six goal involvements in four starts, he's pretty darn accurate. Let's have a couple of mentions for his passing ability. In that competition, he averaged an 89% 
passing accuracy average which is superb for a teenager being that I guess professional and mature on the ball not giving it away and being a deadly marksman when it comes to passing but he's also a creative player as well Callum Hudson-Odoi managed 1.7 key passes in that competition when he was playing 1.7 key passes per game is actually very very creative usually you get this from sort of creative midfielders or maybe playmaker types but he was a player that can play on the shoulder running behind players a sort of mark shadow striker, winger, but he was still making creative passes with his immaculate passing accuracy and basically contributing to all-round offensive and creative play. Right, a few of the stats I want to talk about. One really, really impressive one. Callum hunter Adoy completed 3.3 dribbles per game or take-ons, whatever you want to call it. 3.3 is an immense number. It's kind of Eden Hazard number. Such confidence from a 17 slash 18 year old to pick up the ball and take on 30 year olds and just dribble past them. 3.3 average per game absolutely superb. He also won two Man of the Match awards in these four starts, so that's 50% of his starts he was winning Man of the Match. 22 players on that pitch, most of them seasoned adult professional footballers playing in a European competition, but teenage Callum Hudson-Odoi is winning Man of the Match. And finally, I want to talk about the rating that WhoScored.com gave him for that competition. They gave him 7.6, which is a magnificent impressive score. It's actually the same that Eden Hazard got in that competition and he was magnificent in the final. So very, very highly rated, 7.6, and very impressive. All right, that's enough of the statistics page for the moment. So there you go. In terms of the numbers, they hold up, right? This kid's talented. When given the chance under the lights of Stamford Bridge and a big occasion, I'm sure it's not the Champions League, but, you know, he's 17, it's a big... There's 50,000 people watching him and it's pretty epic scenes and bearing in mind like those Europa League away fans from Eastern Europe usually are like hardcore ultras so there's a lot of atmosphere there he kept his chin up and he performed he was dribbling past people he was scoring goals making creative passes and winning man of the match awards this kid is a star he has no problem performing on any stage and clearly believes in himself but remember his Barely played in the Premier League, he might have got a few sub minutes and he got called up to the England squad by Gareth Southgate and he made his full international debut as a senior England player. So everyone can see this kid is a superstar and he's still so young, remember? So clearly he's very talented, his numbers hold up and he's highly rated by scouts all around Europe, by the England manager, by Chelsea managers. It's people like Maurizio Sorry, that's not inclined to give youth a chance, but he gave him a chance. Obviously we want to see more of him, we want to see him in the Premier League which we will. Now Frank Lampard is coaching Chelsea. As soon as he's match fit, which he nearly is, he just needs to play a few more games. Certainly his injury looks a lot better. We'll see him play a lot more and in the Premier League and probably light up the Premier League. He's the kind of game-changing player that Chelsea need. The player to play between the lines when they're struggling to break down an opposition team. The player to just wriggle through and make something happen. He is that player to get Stamford Bridge, or indeed England fans, up on their feet when he picks up the ball and drives forward and does something special and scores a goal or makes an excellent assist. Much like Eden Hazard, but 10 years younger and from the academy. And really, he's the one to pick up that mantle and become the jewel in the crown at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea fans can finally relax now he's penned the new five-year deal. And by all accounts, from what he said, he can relax too. I think everyone wanted to happen. They just needed some stuff ironed out in the contract negotiations to make sure everyone was happy and everyone felt safe that he was probably going to get the game time that he deserves. I'm speculating. But it's all settled now. He's going to be a huge player for Chelsea and expect him to be doing bits in the Premier League and people probably start putting them in their fantasy football. Anyway, what do you guys think? Are you excited to see Callum Hudson-Odoi play in the Premier League and indeed maybe the Champions League and domestic cups, etc.? What do you think? Get down in the comments. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions on him. How good do you think this kid can be? What's his ceiling? Mbappe levels? Or is he maybe going to stay at a similar level? I personally think he could explode. He's got very 
interesting skills. He can dribble with both feet the way he moves the ball and he takes off shots incredibly early on goal, which to be honest is a really impressive skill and usually goalkeepers aren't ready for that so often you score. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Get down in the comments below. If you have enjoyed the content today, guys, please do like this video. Remember to subscribe if you're new and you can follow me on social media at Football Yannick. That's at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. I'm out. You lot enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby